First of all, I would like to say hello. 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 Oh, it seems that you haven't got your lunch yet. Yes. <laughs> hello. hello. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, once more, I want to say uh, welcome to Egypt, to Luxor, to here, our institute. My name is Muhammad. Of course, not Muhammad Ali, I'm just his grandson. Ah. <laughs> I'd like to give you a brief idea about what we have, what we can see. This is here the papyrus plant. It is a tropical and aquatic one. It needs much water and high temperature to grow high or to grow up. It is a holy for two different uh, reasons. The first reason for why this plant is a sacred or a holy plant is flower. The flower, as you can see, my dear guests, looks like the rays of the sun. The rays of the sun symbolizes for the god of the sun, Amun Ra. The second reason, if you just have a look to see its stem. Okay, just have a look to see what is the form it takes or how it looks like, the stem. Can you see? Yeah. Yes, for sure, yes. Triangular shape, the same shape of pyramids. And pyramids were the symbol of long life for everlasting for eternity. My dear guest is now for making all the stars, all the sheets around us, out of this floor, need to follow different steps. Usually in the first step, what we use, the knife, and then we cut this stem into different pieces. Small, big, or middle, according to which size of paper we want it. You know that we have a variety of sizes around us. That is because the fully maturing plant is about three meters or even four meters high. This is just an example to show you. Okay, after cutting the stem into different pieces, now we move to a new step. So still using the knife, but now to remove the outer green part like this, looks like cucumber. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is my, my favorite vegetable, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you just want to feel the green bark to touch it to see how much strong it is, you can see that this is a very strong, a very flexible part, the inner, the, the outer green part. For this, our ancient Egyptians were so clever people. When they could use the green bark for making useful things such as what? Sandals, baskets, robes, hats, many useful things, they made it out of the green bark in their own time. The very important part for making all the sheets around us is this one, the inner part. Like this, now uh, we begin dividing it into slices or strips, as you can see, very, sorry, very thin as much as we can. So can everybody see what we're making? Mm -hmm. All of you. Mm -hmm. Now let us have a look to see that the inner part at the moment is not strong enough because it still contains inside water and sugar inside it. To make it stronger than before, you need to use different tools such as the wooden hammer and also a rolling pin, these tools. It's sometimes wives need this, yeah. <laughs> you need to test. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you, are on, you are on a vacation, so we must make you feeling happy, okay? Okay, like this. Why the hammer? It's just to kill fibers inside it. That's why we need now to hammer it like this. And to get rid of uh, water inside it and the air gaps, need to use a rolling pin. Can you see? Yes, the water came out. And now um, you can tell me uh, what is the difference or how can you find this part right now? So is it stronger than before or not? Yes. Sure. Then in a new step, we get all slices just in normal water. We leave them, we soak them uh, for about six days or for one week to get this color, the yellow or white colors. But if we boil them in water for more than six days, the result would be this, the dark or the brown sheets. So this is only the difference between the two types, between the two kinds. Just leaving the inner part longer times in uh, water. The more we leave it longer, the more darker it gets. Got it? Now we have two pieces of this uh, material. It's called felt. 
but in their own time, they had two pieces of uh, linen because they had linen in their own time. Same as he used to do to get the paper, need now to rearrange all slices in uh, crisscross lines or horizontal and vertical lines like this. Taking a photo is allowed yeah, of what we are making, okay? But the scenes around here, it is allowed to take photos, okay? Yeah. So this is just six days, this color, okay? So can everybody see what we're making? Mm -hmm. All of you, yes? Okay. Need to weave it to make it stronger, okay? Afterwards, it is time now to cover another piece of the same uh, material and the steps or the step comes need now to uh, press or to put it here for how many days? Just guess. Six days. Perfect. How did you know this? Yeah, this is the right answer. Okay. Need now to leave it here for six days, uh, same as they used to do in their own time. And instead of this machine, what do you think they had? Rocks or stones. Yes, perfect because they had no metals, as you know. After six days here and six days here, if you say, have a cadaver, okay? So, we have it like this. We have a sheet of paper like this. As you can see, it is very strong. It is easy to be rolled like this, where we can find shrinking. Can you see? Make it like this. Yes. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So, under light, what can you see? The crease cross, yes? The horizontal and vertical lines. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Yes. What do you think happens if I try to put this paper back in water? If it is normal paper, it should be dissolved. It should be vanished. It should be nothing in our hands. But this paper, because it was uh, uh, abnormal paper, it was the first paper in the human history invented by their own, so nothing happened. It is waterproof water resistant, okay? This means that the papers which found inside the tombs and the temples does, doesn't affect with humidity or even warming means which we use nowadays in our houses, right? And also all these scenes around us, they are hand painted where we see the signature or the names of the artists on all of them. They all painted at Cairo University by the hands of a very professional artist. They are all professor, professors at Faculty of Fine and Arts. This is a governmental institute, our place. If you find anything you want to remember, you visit your time with us right now, be sure that for anything you are going to bet, we give you certificate, guarantee certificate from Ministry of uh, Tourism and Antiquities. This certificate it means that all what we have, they are genuine papers, same like this one I showed you right now. They are also, in the same time, hand painted ones, where we see the names of the artists on all of them. Have you any questions about the paper, or was it clear? Perfect. Let us move to a new step. What we have now, some lovely scenes. They are all taken from temples, tombs, and museums. For example, let me just talk about this one, because this is the oldest and the most important story taken from the ancient Egyptians' history. This is the final judgment or the final court. At the top, we see the dead man kneeling, raising hands. In front of 14 judges, the judges asked him, did you kill, did you steal, did you make any kinds of mistakes, such as uh, polluting the river Nile, or uh, for example, annoying your neighbors like this? The dead man answered in a negative way, no. I just did well in my first life, and I have no mistakes or no faults. Okay, to know the truth, if he was good or bad, honest or dishonest, lying or not. We see here the dead man or the dead person, with Anubis the jackal, the god of mummification. Anubis takes him to the scales or to the balance of justice. Where we can see both the heart of the dead man, against the feather of justice, the symbol of here, Mark, in double A T, the goddess of justice, fair and truth. Why the heart? Because the heart is the center of conscience. So if the heart is heavier, this means he was a bad person. And then 
he must be punished. Where we see this wild animal called Ammam is going to jump to swallow the heart of him and then no eternal life for him. But let us have a look at the scales right now. You see that? Which is heavier? Perfect. So it means that he has a light heart. He has a pure heart, same like your hearts and my heart in the same time. We wish this. So it is a sign that he was a right person and then he must be rewarded. Where we see him once again. Yeah, uh, Horus, the god of protection, lead him to the best place everybody wished to go there in the eternal life, towards the heaven or, or the paradise. Inside the paradise, we see Osiris, the chief god, his wife Isis, the goddess of love and beauty, his sister Nephthys, the goddess of magic. Also here we see the symbol of south and love in ancient times, the lord's flower growing from the river Nile, and on Lourdes we see the four sons of the god Horus, they call canopic jars. The ancient Egyptians used the jars to keep the inside organs of the body in the mummification process. This was not the end for the pharaohs, it was the beginning of a new life. This story, my dear guest, taken from the book of Zadik chapter 1, the original copy nowadays is in British Museum in London. And also here we see the god of writing, knowledge and wisdom. His name is Jehoti or Tot, T-U-T. The one beside is called the tree of life or the family symbol or the life symbol or the paradise tree. Here we see five birds. Each bird is a step of life for any human being. The first one called baby, child, youth, man and old man. The first four of them, they were looking at the east, the symbol of sun shining or the beginning of life. We're the last one looking at the West, the symbol of sunset or the end of the light. Okay, I want to conclude in my demonstration talking about this one because it is my favorite. This is the Egyptian calendar, one of the most important, nice, fascinating stories. Here we see four double figures of the god Horus, the god of prediction, are four directions. And four ladies of the sky, goddess note, are four seasons. When we count the old figures together, we see that those are eight people plus four, the result would be 12. They are 12 months a year. And if we count their armies together, the result would be 24, or 24 hours a day. When we count the figures inside the circuit, those, one like this, gradually, we see that they are 36. Our 36 weeks, each week was 10 days, the year then was 360 days uh, plus 5 days for celebrations and for festivals. It was very important because from which they know the timing of agriculture, the timing of making their own celebrations and festivals. The original copy of this one is in nowadays Louvre Museum in France, in Paris, where the first one found in Dandara Temple, about 60 kilometers north of Luxor City. If you have a chance to go there one day, you are going to see this one covering the ceiling of the temple. Finally, my dear guests, we have this one. It is called cartouche. The ancient Egyptians used the cartouche form, this one, why just to write down inside it the names of kings and queens in hieroglyphics, which means good luck, long life, happiness, protection, eternity, and so on. If you are interested to see your names translated from English into hieroglyphics, here we have an artist. This takes not so long time, about two or three minutes. For sure, they will never be Egyptian minutes because the Egyptian time seems to be a double time of your time. Try to hold the name inside the cartouche. The price would be 40 Egyptian pounds. 40 Egyptian pounds for writing hold the name inside the cartouche, whatever the name is uh, long. And finally, my dear guest, if you want to remember your time with us right now in Egypt, as I told you, this is a governmental institute, and you'll find also two different numbers on all these items. The first number at the top is the modern number. The number on the bottom, it is price, the red number, okay? This is the price which is in Egyptian pound, Egyptian pound. But here, my dear guest, if you want to uh, select or to pay any, any of these, here you can pay like this in Egyptians, you can pay dollars, you can pay visa, you can pay MasterCards, even if you don't have money right now. For anything you are going to pay, you get it before you leave, and then you can pay later, wherever you stay. And later, you can pay all kinds of currencies, Egyptians, Visa, Dollars, MasterCards, whatever you have. And let me just show you what is the result after only two or three minutes under the hand pressing machine. And then you can imagine how it would be after a week or after six days. Can you see my dear guest? Mm -hmm. Now we have a favor, yeah? No chemicals at all, it's just 
the little amount of sugar <coughs> inside the inner part is like a natural glue. So this is yeah, something which is very amazing to see that how in ancient times, since 5,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians thought that they could make a great invention. Up till nowadays, we use it. Okay? All these uh, items around you, taken from temples and tombs, behind each one, there is a nice story or a very interesting meaning. We have all of them in different size, we have all of them in different colors, and for transportation, I think we have a cartoon tube like this one. The thing you decide, we are going to rub it, to roll it, to put it inside, and also you know that it's a low season of tourism nowadays all over the world, even here in Egypt, and we appreciate your coming. We want to say thanks for visiting us during this time. So the red numbers automatic will be minus 20% off for anything you are going to pay. So 20% off, that's your deal, your discount today. And by this time, apologize if you find any grammatical mistakes, any mispronunciation. Thanks a lot for giving me your ears, okay? Yeah, yeah. And for listening to me. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. uh, enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>